from the Windy City, it's Before Bed with Joe Gold. I'm sure you're asking yourself, why is some kid hosting a talk show? Well, I was tired of all that stuff that usually comes before bed at my place. You know, dodging homework, fake brushing my teeth, saying, I'm not tired. So I created the show for kids like me. They just want to relax and have fun for a half hour before getting into bed. So let's get the show on the road. You know, at the MTV Video Music Awards, Miley Cyrus kind of made a fool of herself by wearing a ridiculous outfit and dancing like an idiot. <laughs> you know, folks, it's performances like these that are destroying the minds of the youth of our nation. I know what I'm talking about. I've watched it five times now. <laughs> we have a great show for you tonight. A video from Vienna Beef, Mr. Bill Casey with us, and some questions for Uncle Tom. Ladies and gentlemen, the Night Owls. It's Lily on guitar, Angela on drums, and Francis on bass. So, ladies, how's the school year going so far? It's interesting. It's good. It's okay. Good. So, do you guys play any apps on your phones? Well, I have a dumb phone, not a smartphone, but I do play Minecraft on my iPad Mini. Yeah, I do a lot. I go on Instagram. Well, I have a smartphone, and this is a segment that we like to call the App of the Week. And the App of the Week is Flick Golf Extreme. <laughs> So this is how you play Flick Golf Extreme. Flick means you have to flick the ball. Golf, it's golf. And extreme is where you're in extreme golf courses. And if you don't get on the first try, you get the second try. You get multiple tries. And look at that, hole in one. How about that? App of the week. You know, what I really should be called, go to the bathroom and play Flick Golf Extreme. <laughs> we'll be right back. And we're back. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of questions. And sometimes you just don't want to ask your mom or dad. That's why I've created this segment called Ask Uncle Tom. Freddie, hit the space bar. And as long as I got my suit and tie, I won't leave it out on the floor tonight. And it got fixed up too. Nice. Let me show you what... I'm sitting here with comedian Tom Dreesen. You may have seen him in movies, TV shows, talk shows. For example, Spaceballs, Trouble with the Curve, Jay Leno, David Letterman. He is from Chicago, and you might have wondered why I brought him here. Well, I have some questions for him. Whenever we get together, Joey, you always have questions, <laughs> which is good. Yeah. Um, so I hear you opened up for Frank Sinatra. I'm saying that right, Sinatra. That's right, Frank Sinatra. He was a, one of the greatest entertainers that ever lived. Yeah. Arguably, maybe the greatest career show business has ever known. Oh, yeah. And as a comedian, it was a thrill and an honor to be on the same stage yeah. with this living legend. And I learned a lot from him. He taught mm -hmm. me a lot about mm -hmm. life and show business. After, like, prom, where's the best place to take a girl? When you're first dating, the best thing you could ever say to a girl is, before I take you out, could I meet your parents? Mm -hmm. Could I take you to see your parents? The parents will really appreciate that, mm -hmm. that you care enough, you respect them enough, that you're coming to meet them before you even take their daughter out. Mm -hmm. That's old school. Mm. You know, after a date with a girl, the best place to take her is home. <laughs> I always see you wearing suits. Why is that? Well, you know, I think if you're, you want to take pride in yourself. Yeah. You know, and uh, I don't always wear suits, but I try to dress proper. I try to dress nice because I have, I want to have respect for myself, take pride in myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's all the questions I have for now. This was fun. Yeah. Let's do it again. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. You're welcome. 
And if you have any questions for Uncle Tom, send them in and I'll ask them. Um, waiter, may I please have the check? Thank, thank you. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> I love it. And as long as I got my suit and tie, I'm gonna leave it all on the floor tonight. And you got big stuff too. If you want to ask Uncle Tom any questions, just go to my website at www.beforebedwithjoegold.com and click on the link Ask Uncle Tom. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Ladies, you're killing it tonight. Before I bring on my guests, have you ever wondered how hot dogs are made? We've all heard the rumors, so I wanted to find out for myself. So this is a piece I like to call, What Do You Know? If you want a quality hot dog in Chicago, Vanna Beef is the place to go. Let's go see how they're made. First, you gotta make sure you dress right for the job. The hard hat protects you from fouling hot dogs. Then, they dump out all the fresh beef and start trimming the fatty pieces right off. They go really fast. Look at this guy. Chop, chop, chop. He's a pro. This guy swings an imaginary jump rope to motivate his workers. Then he tells me how they find the best meat. After that, they mix all the meat and seasonings together with these huge mixtures. Luckily, I didn't fall in. Then we get ready to case the meat. It's a little weird at first because it comes shooting out of this machine, but I was pretty good at it. They offered me a job, but I turned it down. This lady was called the worst meister, but she was pretty much the best. She showed me how to case the meat properly. She's been doing it like forever. Then you gotta pinch and spin the sausage to make the link. Spin them, pinch them, spin them, pinch them. I kept singing that in my head the whole time. The sausage turns out better when you sing to it. I think I made something like 600 feet of sausage. Pretty sure that's a world record. Whoa, check this out. They started hanging the hot dogs up to this big tie rack where they hang out for a while. Then they put all the hot dogs we just made into this big smoker. They told me it's like a million degrees. I asked them if they could smoke my shirt, so it smells awesome. But then they shut the doors on me. I'll ask them about my pants next time. Whoa, totally forgot about this thing. It shoots hot dogs into bags. It's called a hot dog baggerizer. All right, I made that up. But it should be called that, don't you think? After they're bagged up, they're ready to ship out. Oh, this is where I asked the guy if I could steal just one bag. And he was like, nah, kid, nah. And I was like, just one bag? And he's still like, nah. And that's how you make hot dogs, everybody. Good work, Vienna Beef. Thanks for the tour. Okay, my first guest tonight is a world-renowned pet trainer. He's been making cats and dogs do crazy things for twice as long as I've been alive. Mr. Bill Casey. Thanks, Joe. Try, try three times as long as you've been alive. <laughs> so you're an animal trainer. Correct. Animal trainer, animal handler, animal wrangler, as they're sometimes called in the mm -hmm. film industry. Mm -hmm. So what is the most exotic animal you've handled? I mean, pretty much everything from, you know, lions and tigers and wow. alligators and wow. elephants, you name it, reindeer. An elephant? Elephant, yep. Wow. So um, how long have you been training animals? Uh, about 32 years. Wow, that's a long time. Tell me about it. <laughs> did you see Miley Cyrus dress up like a bear on the VMAs? I did. You mean come out of a bear <laughs> yeah. on the VMAs. Did you train her? <laughs> no. She's a little more than I could handle. <laughs> So what did you bring for us tonight? I brought a ball python, which is a fairly mm -hmm. common pet snake type. Oh, wow. And maybe a little bit less than three feet longish. Okay. And here you go. You want to oh, yeah, sure. touch them? There you go. Just grab your hand somewhere in this zone. There you go. You got him? Yep. There you go. Oops. Oops. Slipped out. Not exactly the part of him. Where's the... There we go. Now you got him. So how frequently are you bitten by snakes? Uh, you know, a handful of times, and it's typically been much larger species of mm -hmm. snake. Um, and typically, if they're well fed, um, they're really not all that aggressive. Okay. And if you notice... Um, you notice how it's like all balled up on your hand? Yeah. I mean, that's where the name bald, bald python, python comes, comes because when they get a little nervous, okay. they just kind of curl themselves up in a little ball. Huh. So what's the biggest snake you've ever trained? About nine to 10 feet. Oh, wow, that's big. Big, big. Um, what's your favorite snake to train? Um, boa constrictors. Um, okay. They tend to be fairly 
easy snakes to you know live with and, and work with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for coming tonight, Mr. Casey. My pleasure. Keep nice. up the good work. Thank you. Nice to be with you. And you can find more, out more about Mr. Casey at www.animaltalent.com. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I want to thank Vienna Beef, Mr. Bill Casey, my Uncle Tom Dreesen, and the Night Owls. Pizza at my house, if your parents are cool with it. See you next week before bed.